As you know, this 2014 budget... No the proposed Onondaga County budget for next year actually calls for a slight decrease in property taxes. County Executive Joni Mahoney says it will bring the tax rate to its lowest level in 50 years. The good news is that we're back on the pace that we were on before the Great Recession. The proposed budget totals $1.2 billion, but drops overall county spending by 3.5%. It reflects an increase in sales tax revenue, includes an economic development fund of $1.5 million, provides veterans and active military with free admission to county parks, and consolidates a number of county departments. The end result is a proposed tax rate of $5.23 per thousand, which is down slightly from the current rate of $5.28. County Executive Mahoney says for the first time, this budget reflects a decrease in state-mandated expenditures. For the first time that I can remember ever, the cost of state mandates is coming down thanks to the work of the state legislature and Governor Cuomo, particularly the hard cap that he put in place on Medicaid. It will now be up to the members of the county legislature to find ways to cut down on the size of the budget in hopes of further reducing the tax rate. But the head of the Ways and Means Committee does not see a lot of fat in this proposed spending plan. I'm, I'm really happy with, uh, with the budget that the county executive and her team put together. It's a, it's a great starting point. And, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll find some things, but it's definitely going to be a scalpel, not a, not a hatchet. If there is one area that raises concern, according to Knapp, it's Mahoney's reliance on an increase in sales tax receipts. Such a revenue source can often fall short if there's an unexpected downturn in the economy.